Now, sit around and hear men complaining about the fact that women are online whores nowadays. Every woman has an OnlyFans, OnlyFans this, OnlyFans that, social media thoughts, Instagram models, etc., etc. Men are constantly complaining about women. And now I have an issue with it because how many of you remember Bad Baby, the girl from Dr. Phil, the Catch Me Outside girl? Catch Me Outside! How about that? Huh? Catch Me Outside! How about that? Many of you may remember when she turned 18, she created an OnlyFans. And when she created an OnlyFans, she got hella subscribers. Well, she reported last week that in the three years that she's been doing OnlyFans, because she's now 21, I believe, she's 21 and going on 22, she has made $57 million from OnlyFans. $57 million in three years. Y'all have made this woman a multi-millionaire from OnlyFans. The same guys who sit online and complain about women, I would assume that most of them are subscribed to her OnlyFans. Because as a woman, how do you make $57 million on a platform simply from having a face and showing your body? That means the number of men that have to be subscribed to your content has to be damn near half, if not the majority of the population. Bad Baby posted her OnlyFans revenue and earnings on her IG story. We can see from April 1st, 2021 to July 11, 2024, that she earned $24,1777.86 in subscriptions, $578,281.22 in tips, $32,480,699.40 in messages. Her gross was $71,332,786.34. Her net, $57,060,758.48. This is men. Men are to blame. Men are the problem. Men are incentivizing these women to join OnlyFans because men are the ones subscribing and sending these women messages. As a man, why do you feel compelled to join a woman's OnlyFans, subscribe to her content, message her, and spend money doing all of this shit. And it's a lot of you out there. Hell, it's probably a lot of you watching this video. Y'all can't complain that women are using their bodies to make money when y'all are paying them to see their bodies. There can't be a supply without a demand. Y'all do realize that, right? In order for something to be supplied, there has to be a demand for it. Men are creating rich women because they simply show their bodies online and you can't control your lust. You're willing to pay for it. You're willing to pay to see a normal, average, regular woman have sex on camera with a guy that you wish was you. You're willing to message a woman who many times I've heard you aren't even actually messaging the woman. This is what I've heard. You're willing to message basically an AI version of the woman thinking that you're talking to the woman and you're willing to pay to do that. I don't want to hear anybody sit around and complain about modern women in America when modern women in America are operating on the expenses of modern men in America. They can't accomplish any of this shit without the funding of men. We get online and in these spaces, the manosphere, the red pill, debating what women should and shouldn't be doing, trying to slut shame them trying to guilt trip them for what they do. Yet, behind closed doors, men are the ones still aiding and abetting these women in accomplishing what they want to accomplish with minimal effort. They can be bird brains. They don't have to go to college. They don't have to get degrees. They can start OnlyFans and they're confident in starting OnlyFans because they know the men will come. They know if they build it, the men will come. We have a society of desperate and lustful men 
who are making women millionaires and putting women in positions to look down on men because they make money selling their body online and men have to go to work and make an honest living because we don't we aren't afforded the same luxury of making money under the same circumstances they make money from lascivious behavior plastering their bodies online and then look down on men because men don't make that much money damn sure ain't making 57 million dollars in three years because we simply can't get it that easy so if y'all are doing this if y'all are the source of their revenue then y'all cannot sit around and then cry about the way modern women are and how they're sluts and hoes prostitutes when the money comes easy because y'all are generating the revenue for them. Y'all are idiots. Was Go get a fucking hobby. Go get a real girlfriend. The same confidence that you have to subscribe to an OnlyFans account, approach a woman with that confidence. You don't need to make six figures. You don't need to be six feet. You don't need to have a six pack. Go approach a real woman. Touch grass. Get some fresh air. Put your best foot forward. Put your best effort forward with that real woman in real time and reality. Oh, she rejected you? Go approach another one. Because there's no excuse for men to be aiding women and them becoming millionaires from them selling their bodies online because you want to live a fantasy in your head that you've committed to in the form of monthly subscriptions, weekly messages, and daily checkups. As long as men continue to create the lifestyles that women desire, we cannot put the primary blame on women for desiring those lifestyles because they know that a man in some shape, form, or fashion is going to give it to them. And until we change that about ourselves as men, we demonstrate a little bit more dick discipline, a little bit more financial discipline, a little bit more financial responsibility. Until we start demonstrating those things, we have no one to blame but ourselves. I appreciate you guys for tuning in for this week's Dosage of Q-Pill. I'll catch you guys next week over and out.